Bob, what, uh, all these years later, what do you miss about John? Everything. <laughs> Everything, his humor, uh, his friendship, his insight, his perception, his leadership, most of all his leadership. I think the world sorely needs somebody who makes sense that people listen to. That's what I miss most. Was he the crazy character that he's uh, portrayed as sometimes? Yeah, it was fun, too. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out with him at night was fun. But in the early days, I mean, what I learned from John Lennon, uh, when I met him, uh, we drank quite a bit. Uh, we refer to the early days as the te te tequila sessions. Uh, and there was quite a bit of drinking, and then he went on to California and carried it on to the extreme that you've heard about, the Lost Weekend. Uh, but when he came back to New York and got sober, and had uh, his son Sean, and he really paid attention to that, stayed home for five years, raising Sean, learning about responsibility, learning about controlling the excesses, learning about a healthy diet, and uh, when he passed, those were the things, the themes that came up in the 80s, you know, about being responsible, about taking drugs and alcohol, being responsible to your family, um, you know, paying attention to your diet, your health, those are things that all, you know, he, he was a real leader in those uh, those ways, and, and uh, I'm sure today he would have a lot to say about what's going on in the world today. Did he ever express the slightest interest in getting back together with the other guys in any way? Not really an expression of wanting to do anything over again like that. He did say at one point he was very proud to be the leader of the most famous and best band in the world. Uh, he felt very, you know, uh, you know, I, I don't know if it's satisfied or happy, but... Uh, you know, he was very glad to, that the Beatles, uh, you know, were so big and were so popular and that he was the leader. You know, he, he was aware of that. <coughs> but um, he was walking through Central Park one time when somebody yelled out to him, like, Hey, John, when are you getting the Beatles back together? And he yelled back, When are you going back to high school? You know, it was kind of like that. It's something they did, something that was great, something that inspired everybody. It was not something you do again and again. You, know, you go on. You, you achieve new things. You know, when he died, his record was number one. So you can only imagine what he would have done in the 35 years since. Lost town.